I'm Derek Feely, I'm the President and Chief Executive Officer of the Institute for Healthcare Improvement. I'm Trissa Torres, Chief Operations and North America Programs Officer at the Institute for Healthcare Improvement. I'm Pedro Delgado, Head of Europe and Latin America for IHI. So it was great to be back at East London Foundation Trust. This is the sixth time that I have been here with the IHI team uh, just reflecting on our strategic partnership together. Uh, and I think this has been our best visit yet in terms of the calibre of the work and the quality of the inputs that we've seen. Two particular highlights uh, for me this time around. So this was the first time I got to go visit with colleagues in Bedfordshire. Uh, and it was great to see both the commitment to quality improvement there, but also the really uh, intelligent and insightful uh, work they're doing to improve services for users in Bedfordshire, both in the community and in mental health. So th that was really great to see. Uh, and second, uh, one of the highlights for me was to get to listen to uh, an explanation of quality improvement from a service user called Craig. And Craig gave one of the most um, clear-minded and, uh, and simple to understand <laughs> explanations of exactly what is quality improvement that I think I've ever heard. And I'm not sure that there's many places uh, in the world, certainly not places that we interact with, where the level of service user involvement equip service users to become their own experts in, in quality improvement. And I think that, that we should commend our colleagues here in East London for doing that. Uh, and I guess that might be just another highlight I wanted to mention, which was my time with the Skips team. Uh, and they're enjoying work project. And so I, I got to make a joy. And if you don't know how to make a joy, you should go speak to the Skips team. Um, but just to see the level of enthusiasm and energy that's coming from that team, yeah, it, it, it really kind of made my day. So I had the privilege of being able to visit multiple of the AAA projects that are going on across the trust, and really impressed on the project on the progress that each project has made. A lot of the things that really impressed me were the degree to which people have now been able to engage service users, community partners, uh, in, in a way to really try to address a shared aim around improving the health of populations um, as well as looking at value and, uh, and the care experience. And so that engagement of service users was really, really powerful. And I think there's even an opportunity to take that to the next level so that we're not only engaging people just in helping us define the problem, but also in bringing the solutions and helping us our, learn our way through improvement. Many highlights actually. Um, you know the, the enthusiasm around improvement let's forget about qi the enthusiasm about in, in improving uh, things in service of those that you serve was palpable uh, sometimes with more sort of rigorous approaches to qi and sometimes just improvement but that was just brilliant uh, and the second thing is the is the wide use of ai and I don't mean artificial intelligence, uh, appreciative inquiry, that, that was fantastic actually and it creates conversations that are constructive, that are creative and that generate sort of local ownership for the changes that people are leading throughout the organization and by people I don't just mean staff, I mean service users, they were everywhere and it's fantastic to see. So, huge progress when we came here 12 months ago. The, the triple aim was a intent, a strategic plan, uh, and now it's happening. People are talking in triple aim terms, beginning to understand how we can deploy the quality improvement methods that we've learned to secure improvement ac across the three aims of the triple aim and indeed in joy and work. Um, so Another thing that's always so exciting to see uh, when I'm able to come visit the Trust is 
really the commitment to continuous improvement uh, and that we're always learning every day on how to make things better. And one of the lenses that I bring uh, that I know the trust has used in our, your overall strategy is how to make things better at the level of the triple aim, improving the health of populations, improving the experience of care that we provide, improving the value of care, but also improving experience for staff. And when we look up across the balance of how to improve across all of those things at the same time, it's not easy, and yet the commitment to do that is really here, and that's a pretty unique thing to see. Uh, and that people are committed to that continuous learning. That's not something that we're gonna do overnight, uh, but we're gonna to need to bring those skills and tools and mindsets to continue on that journey. It feels, we've been coming here for the last six years, and it's brilliant to see both the evolution, the progress, and the ambition. It, it's never stopped, actually. Uh, and when you're pursuing sort of excellence uh, throughout, you have to continuously push yourself uh, as the work of improvement grows, uh, there is uh, a, a risk of over-technifying things and uh, for the bureaucracy that is required to scale up to be a little overwhelming. Uh, and, and my sense is that over the next uh, year, two years, there will be uh, a need and an intentional effort actually to um, invite improvement from every corner of the organization, even in the simplest of ways. So uh, not just through the formal channels of QI, which will continue to exist and grow, uh, but sort of to open the, the floodgates in a way for everyone who wants to improve. And, and again, that was palpable throughout the organization. It wasn't just QI projects. There were many more that wanted to bring ideas and actually have some sort of support even in a, in a light way to, um, to improve what they're doing every day and, and I think that's a, a welcome addition to, to an organization that aspires as it says on that wall right there in service of improving the quality of life for all that you serve uh, to continuously improve what they do every day. So, so really impressive, um, really exciting and I look forward to coming back and seeing how much progress you make between now and next time I get to visit. Yeah, great to be back uh, and congratulations to everybody at East London Foundation Trust for the quite remarkable work that you do uh, to improve not just the care for the people who you serve, but the lives of the people that you serve.